deep thoughts. As far as know, this beat is free, so please don't, don't, don't copyright me, because delicate seas, delicate seas, because they be blowing trees, blowing, blowing trees. It's what we want to think, because sometimes we think, but we don't always think, because it's kind of, uh, I can't rap. I, I don't know what to rap about or to talk about. I just got so much doubt, but I let it out. If you're trying to do things and hopefully achieve those things, I got dreams, I got missions, I got things to do, and I'm diligent, diligent, but kind of delirious. Because it might be conspiracies. Hey, Rex. We rap hard because we like to rap talk hard, but we don't always got to be hard, not scarred. But we ain't scarred forever. If you know, then you're large. Anything that's bad isn't forever. If you ever had a bad moment, it's not forever. I know that. Look. I know that's really hard to understand sometimes. Because recently. I've been wanting to put this on YouTube for a while, but I think the time is about right. My, um, my soul brother Paige killed himself with a shotgun. And I've been trying to figure out what that means. I, I mean, I understand what it means. He's dead, but I don't understand how someone so happy could do that. And at times he was depressed. Don't get me wrong. He's bipolar. But the thing I'm trying to say is even though that happened... There's going to be better moments. And somehow I think it will be fixed at some point. Because if you've lost someone like how I've lost someone, there's times you think you're never going to get it back. And I think that sometimes, but I know I'm going to see him again. And I might have to die to see him. I'm not saying I'm suicidal because I'm not. But I'm saying whatever I die of, you know, maybe that's when I'll get to see him again. I don't know. I've dreamed about him. But if you've had a friend kill herself, my heart goes out to you. You know, because... It's just unnecessary, in my opinion. But I look at it like this. He was so sad. And maybe he's not sad anymore. Who knows? But it is traumatizing. I wish he, he would have never done it. And I talked to Malvin many times. But I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but... I haven't been posting on YouTube that much. And I really want to do a YouTube video. And I thought I'd rap because it's fun for me to rap and then go back and hear it. I know some some have enjoyed my raps, but it just seems like it just keeps playing in my mind over and over again. Like I can't get over he's dead. Like I, I, I thought he'd at least live to sixty, but he didn't. But if you have a loved one, and you know y'all are going through something, like y'all have had bad words, or they did something that frustrated you, or whatever it is, remember that. Time is limited in the way it is now. I don't think it's going to be that way forever. I, I don't think... I, and I don't think death necessarily segregates you entirely every time. But I think some... And I know this might sound crazy, but... I believe I can talk to the dead sometimes. But... My point is... Whatever it be, there's going to be some kind of reuni reun reun reuniting. You know what I mean? I... And I don't think mean is forever. I think if anything is mean, it has to be fixed. And I believe everybody has a chance, no matter how mean they are. Because I've ran into some people, and I thought they were just evil. Just evil, and that's it. You know what I mean? Because they believe different things than me. Or they were just being mean, and I was like, you know, they they seem to always be this way. You know, because if you get picked on in school, if you've ever been picked on in school, I think some legitimately make it through school without getting picked on. But you know what I'm talking about. You just, you're like, you gotta you gotta avoid them, you know what I mean? But... The point is, means not forever, and I know a lot of people say this, and whatever you believe in that gives you hope, if it's good, you know, keep believing that, because I used to be a Christian, but I'm not now, I'm more along, I'm not, I'm not really atheist, because I can acknowledge God is real, but my understanding of God has significantly changed, I don't believe he's just a he, because I don't think that's fair to girls, or what other gender sexualities are out there. But all I know of is male and female. But there has to be more. And I think there'll be new ones constantly. But the point I'm trying to make is if you've had words with a relative or a friend or someone's picking on you, you know, they're not always going to be that way. 
And sometimes we can help them in ways. But I'm not saying allow it to happen. That's not what I'm saying. Because you don't want to sit there and let it happen. But sometimes we don't know what to do. And there's really no way to fix it sometimes. But eventually, I think everything's going to be good. I, I think the only thing that's forever is kindness. You know, if you don't know what's right or wrong, because we don't sometimes. You know, and there's certain moral compasses and certain people would say never do this, never do that. You know, but my point is if, if you think it's kind, it's possibly forever. Because I think if you fake kindness, it it's not forever. You know, you got you may have had fake friends. They're all buddy-buddy with you, but when they get with their other friends, they're talking shit about you, you know? But um, what I'm trying to say is, even though my soul brother killed himself, I'm hoping he's doing better. There's all I can look at it as. Because I can't fix it. I can't go back and undo it yet. But I think I'm supposed to in ways. Right, because... I don't think you should ever kill yourself. You know what I mean? That's just what I believe. Because it's traumatizing. You know? And he sent me texts and stuff. And I wish I would have knew better. I wish I wish I wish I could have saved him. But I can't, and I'm trying my hardest. Not to look at it like, you know, I fucked up, you know, because there was nothing I could do. I, I I remember last time talking to him and I was just trying to, I was like, I hope you're feeling better. You know, what's wrong? But it was over with at that point, you know, like he was going to do it no matter what. And I miss him. But, you know, there's no changing it yet. I don't think it's permanent. I think it's just a mistake. You know what I mean? And death is natural. We can agree on that. But I don't think you're supposed to grieve over it. And some people say, let me grieve, you know. But I don't think you necessarily got to cry to fix things. But see, I was raised, you don't cry. That's how I was raised with my dad. Because crying is weakness. And I have felt better sometimes by crying. You know, so I can understand trying to let it out. But sometimes when you try to go harder, not since the harder is mean, but you try to protect yourself so you don't get hurt, I think it's better sometimes. So we don't have to cry about everything. You know what I mean? And there are some that have very little, and you got to be careful with them. They got a very little limit of what they can handle. You know, they're very emotional. You know, they, they can see something bad and immediately they start crying. But not everybody's like that. You know, there's some people I think never cry. I know that sounds impossible, but there has to be something out there that's like indestructible, if that makes sense. Because if there was, then everything would be bad is what I look at. And I I go back and forth like that. I look at, I'm like, if we didn't have this, then everything would be bad. If that makes sense. Because there's a lot of blessings. You know, if you got food, some people take for granted they got food, but just to have food or something simple, just to have a girlfriend or something. But you know, I'm single. And um, I was starting to learn it wasn't because of me. And it wasn't because of my um, partners. I just think differently sometimes. I think when you find love, like, if it's your first love or... Because that's nice. <clears throat> you know, if you find love, appreciate it. It's your said and done sometimes. Because some, the more we get more love, that's when we turn to hate. Whether we think we don't deserve it or... We just get used to it. We're always like, okay, you know, this person's going to love me no matter what, so I can do whatever I want to him. And you just can't do that. You know, I think... I think there's limits to what can be achieved right now. But I think we'll reach a point of limitless. Where everything's possible. We're just not there yet. And I'm a perfectionist. And I really do believe everything that can go perfect will. I don't think everything will go perfect. Because I think some things are just mean. 
you know, if you hurt somebody, it's mean. You know what I mean? Like, you can't perfect meanness. You know, and I believe there's some that are genuinely only nice and kind. Because if they weren't, there'd be no nice and kind. You know, and you might run into one. Eventually you're going to run into them. But it's hard to believe them when they present themselves. It's like some of those that believe in angels. And they believe angels never do anything wrong. Whether it be God or whatever. Because I think a lot of things make angels. But um, it, it's hard to believe because they're at a state that I'm not. And there could be someone that watches my video that's already at that state. And they're like, yeah, you got it. You're doing right. You know what you're talking about. And I hope that happens. I know it will at some point. But my point I'm trying to make is I don't know how to handle suicide. Not in the sense that I'm suicidal because I'm not. It's just I don't know what to do with it. So if you leave a comment or something, any advice... I mean, if you've ever been around someone or just knowing about it, you know, because <coughs> he had so much good going for him, you know, but when I first met him, he was severely depressed and he didn't want to eat. I got him eating again and he finally came around because when I met him, he said, I'm just waiting to die. I was supposed to die years ago. You know, I've reached my expiration date. <clears throat> he would tell me, which I disagree with his opinion, but this is what he would tell me. He would say, you know, if I had cancer, and I know I'm going to die to cancer, what would be wrong with them putting me down, you know, with drugs, and just putting me to sleep where I die? And I was like, I can kind of understand that, because I believe some actually are off better if you kill them. And I know that might sound really fucked up and wrong, but some shouldn't have to go through it any further. And I'm not saying death fixes everything. Because it don't. But I know, hopefully, he's doing better. That's all I can hope. Because I just, I really can't believe he did it. You know, I never thought... I mean, I had times when I thought, yeah, he's really going to do it. And he didn't. But I thought it was going to be another time he'll, he'll come out of it is what I thought. I was like, because I knew he was sad. But I thought he'd come out of it. And, you know, if I would have knew better, I would have got someone over there to help him. But I didn't have the time. You know, and I just don't understand it. And it seems to be all I think about. I mean, I think about other stuff, don't get me wrong. It's not always about it, but it just keeps hitting me. And when I wake up, I go, Paige is dead, you know? That's been my routine for since it's happened. Every day since I've climbed out of bed, since he did it, I wake up immediately thinking Paige is dead. And I can't call him. You know, I don't want to cry, but it's hard it's losing your friend, you know? And it's... I wish it was something that was preventable. You know, I wish when you we could have saved him again. You know, but he's gone. And I've, you know, I've been around people that are suicidal, and I've talked to a lot of people about suicide. But he had that opinion when I first talked to him. He said. And he'd ask me, he said, if you could choose any way to die, how would you want to die? And I thought he was just, like, thinking about what would I die of. You know, I think that's natural thing sometimes. Because I don't really know what they're going to die of. You know? I don't know if it'd be any better if I knew what I was going to die of. But I'm going to be around for much longer, so don't worry about me. I'm sad, but I, I could never do it. No matter how sad I got. Because I, I don't think that way when I'm sad. Because I know it won't fix it. You know? Because I know it didn't fix him. And that gives me more drive to keep going. That's inevitable. I, I believe in some immortality. But I, I think inevitably you're going to die at some point. Because to live forever wouldn't be fair. You know? Death's natural. 
and it doesn't always hurt. Like, sometimes when things have died, I'm like, okay, that's just that. That's natural, you know? But, it's very difficult. I've been playing RuneScape. I can't play as much as I used to. I just, I haven't been sleeping good. I know it's going to change. I know I'm going to get back to good sleep. I know I'm going to get back to where I want to play RuneScape a lot more. But right now, it's just... It's like when I checked on Kylie about her cat. I said, are you okay? I know it's been about a year. Now it was a while back. I was like, how are you doing? And she's like, I'm doing all right. But... I don't know. Because it, it, it's a type of sadness I've never had before. You know, and that's hard to deal with because normally... If I get sad about something, it's familiar in the sense of, like, I can I can cope. And I am coping, so like I said, don't worry about me, but I don't know what to do. And I talked to his mom, and his mom's like, you know, some days are a lot worse than others, and, you know, we got pictures of him, and it's just I never wanted him sad, you know? And he wasn't all good, but he was still good, if that makes sense. You know, he made mistakes, but I still believe there's something out there that never makes mistakes, but I don't know what to call it. All I call it is the nice, nice, kind of kinds. Because I, I think they genuinely don't make any mistakes that are bad. Because they're the ones that drive us. And if they can make us like them, they would. But there was a spirit earlier, because I do voodoo. That said, if you're able to be mean, it's because you have mean inside you. And once you're free of mean, you'll never be mean again. You know, and it's a healing process. I think healing should only be fun, like in Pokemon or, you know, when you play card games and it's just for fun. You use little potions to heal up, you know. Because I think we'll reach a point where healing is just fun. You know, but it's not that way yet. We just I don't know when it's going to become that way. No- but I know it's coming. Money. Talk about was like the one I like vlogging. And I'm trying not to cry. But it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with. And I mean, I've had to deal with one of my girlfriends getting tricked into abortion, you know, and that was hard. So I was like, okay, we're not having a kid. Like, and it kind of all fell apart after that. Because she didn't really... She got better, but she didn't really... You could tell it still got to her. And, um... That was a difficult thing, too. Because... I don't know what my life would be like if I w- would have had my kid. You know, maybe it'd be better. Maybe it'd be worse. You know, because I don't know if I'm responsible to take on a kid, but there's good parents out there. You know, some parents, you just like, you get it. You know, they, they, they get parenting. They're just, they're genuinely good at it. And I think some, like I said, they, they never get upset. And I believe some actually know everything. And when they look at bad, it doesn't upset them. But they know it's something we got to fix. You know, but to be like them, that's what I want. You know, always be nice and kind because, you know, I have anger problems. I really don't mean harm towards anything. And not knowing if I harm something, that's hard too. Like, you know, sometimes you'll hope something and you're like, I hope that doesn't hurt anything. You know, those types of prayers or I guess it's called prayer, but I don't really pray anymore because I I just don't I I I don't pray because I don't think it works for me anymore maybe I'm missing something a lot of people just say go to God go to God pray to Jesus you know or all or whatever you believe in and I'm like, that doesn't fix it for me. You're not fixing it. And they, 
They want to recite things like the Bible or the Quran or whatever's inspirational to them. And I'm like, I get what you're saying, but that's not helping me. You know what I mean? Because I struggle a lot. And I know I'm being a Debbie Downer. And I, I didn't want this video to be that way. I want to just rap, but I got to get it out. I can't hold it in any further. Because I know everything's going to get better. And I harp on it. I go back and forth. I say it many times. Because I have to keep reminding myself it's going to get better. You know, to be something that literally has no regrets. And there's some that have progressed that far. Because even if they did something wrong, they've already took care of it. You know, and they don't... They literally have no regrets. And they never will have regrets. And they're just better off than we are. Because I believe some have it best. And I mean real best. Not perfect yet. But best. Like, phenomenally well. You know, some would say it's impossible. But I know they're out there. And plus, I, I get down on myself because I feel like I don't do enough. But sometimes I don't know what to do. You know, I... And I believe a lot of things. So, like I said, if you're going went through it with someone, try to hang in there, you know. Even though sometimes moving away fixes it. And the night before he did it, I told my mom, I said, he's basically pushed everybody away. And I don't know if I'll see him again in this life. I don't. I was like, I don't want him to die alone, but... I think that's what's going to happen. And then it happened, you know? It was just... He was really hard to love at times. You know, but there's been moments I'll get flashbacks. It's like us hanging out or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, he's a really good guy. He made mistakes. I've made mistakes. But I don't believe everything makes mistakes. And I think it's okay to say we're not perfect yet. Because it's real. I don't think some can admit they're not perfect yet and it doesn't hurt them in any way. And it doesn't hurt anything when they say it. But I'm a perfectionist. But I think there's some things you can never perfect. If, and if you don't know what to do, look at it like this. If it's kind and it's nice, it's hopefully forever. If it's genuinely nice, it is forever. But there's no way we can keep mean forever. And I know sometimes we be mean because it gets what us it gets us what we want. But I think anything you've ever obtained through any malice has to be undone. Well, this is as simple as that. Just undo all mean, you know. Or flip a switch. Sometimes I wonder if there's a switch hidden somewhere, like like a little light switch that someone left on accidentally. <clears throat> but that's not it either, because. There's some that never make mistakes. And like, I get a lot of people telling me to pray, go to God. And I'm not knocking God. That's not what it is. It's just, I can't get behind God anymore. And I'm kind of angry at God. You know, because the way they look at God is different. Like, I can't get behind how they look because they think God is perfect and I think God created everything, but I can't get behind one creator. I never have. <clears throat> you know, and normally when I'd worship God, it's because it was giving me benefit. Like, you know, people at church would like me. Or I would be able to obtain things if I said I worshiped God, you know. And I think really all those things I've obtained, I'm, I'm going to have to give them back. And like I said, I don't think God's a bad concept because... You know, it's a concept that helps others. But I, I can't get behind thinking there is this, you know, just one all goody good, you know. And I've always struggled because they always say God's a he. And I'm like, that's not fair to girls. That's not fair to any sexuality or gender. You know, but I'm not trying to debate God. But 
I've had so many people post on my Facebook about it, and I'm like, I really don't want to see this. And then, like, just go read the Bible and you'll understand it all. And I'm like, I've read the Bible all the way through many times. And there's some parts in it that are just wrong. For instance, calling, which they were, the apostles were slaves of Jesus. And I don't think we should ever be enslaved. I think you should be able to do whatever you want. As long as it doesn't hurt anything. You know, but I have a slave mindset. You know, because I can't do everything yet. And I think there's some that do everything and it, it, it's never bad. You know, but... I really just wanted to rap, but... I can't rap right now. And see, things like that. Being at, wanting to do something and can't do it. You know, but it's not going to be that way forever. It can't be. And I'm tired of being schizophrenic at some points. I get all these spirits. I try to heal them. I try to cheer them up. Because they think everything's going to go bad. And it'll never get that bad. You know, I think I think the majority are nice. And it's always been that way. Because I think there's more nice than there ever is mean. But when you're not exposed to nice, you can think everything's mean. But it's a flawed mindset. It's a flawed psychology, you know what I mean? Because there's no way everything's mean. But I think some things are just mean. And if you don't know what that is, it's hurting things. Because I don't believe pain's forever. And I think some have actually made it to where they don't feel pain. But it's not like they're numb. They... They just don't have to deal with pain. You know? And I think everybody has a chance to do whatever they're meant to do. But sometimes we don't get chances. You know, we really try to do the right thing and then we can't because we get blocked. And sometimes it's blocked, but it's just sometimes it's trying to be mean. You know, and I'm so tired of going back and forth with nice and mean because I don't want to be mean. Um... I can swear I never have one to be mean, but I've been tricked too. It's just like music used to sound better, and I know I'm depressed because you know I've been depressed before, but this time it's different. It's not the same kind of sadness. It's just for longing for something better. I keep having nightmares. I don't sleep well. Let's like mention, you know, I'm insomniac. You know, and what used to help me with that was stimulants. I would just stay up. I was going to stay up regardless of it, but the stimulants would give me enough energy to where I didn't feel like I had to lay down all day. And that's how I've gotten again. I mean, it's like your taste buds said, I just, the was like, okay. I don't know what to do. So but I keep the little voice in the back of my head just keeps coming. It's, it's going to get better, and I'm thankful I have that voice. And some you know, I'm thankful that I know it's going to get better. But I still can't understand it. I mean, I can't understand why someone takes their life like that. You know, probably means I'm not suicidal, but... I just... I really don't know what to do. I'm, you know, and... A lot of my friends, I thought were going to be my friends forever and moved on or... You know, somewhere else, we don't talk anymore. Mostly... I love my mom, don't get me wrong. But I wish I was famous. But maybe fame wouldn't fix it. You know, maybe I'm trying to strive for something I'm not meant for yet. You know? Who knows? And I want to do more Let's Plays. And uh, I'll try to. I'll try to get OBS Studio running at some point. Because I know some have enjoyed that. My RuneScape content gets watched more in my vlogs. But you know, it's like when is success enough? I mean, you think you would always try for success, but when is there going to be another moment where I sit back and I'm like, you know what, I'm okay with my accomplishments? You know? It seems like I just don't get a break. You know, like I just have impending doom frequently. I get scared for no reason. And I cry. And 
There's a little voice in the back of my head again. It's not always going to be bad. And it's never going to get where it's entirely bad. You know, but... I just wish everything was perfect. You know, and I know we'll get there at some point. And like I said, I believe there's something that really have best. And they don't have to deal with problems. But they're still aware of them. Like, they never get tricked into thinking perfect people are perfect. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like, they never not know there's evil out there. No, don't get me wrong. Not thinking about it sometimes is better because you're not really thinking about the bad. But I think they, they just handle it in a different way. And I wish they could fix it. Or anything fix it. You know, I, I, it seems like I just say the same things over and over again. But with repetition comes love sometimes. You know, if you're not that good of a three-pointer and you keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying, and you finally make it, you know? Make that three-point shot. I don't think everybody will be able to at some point. You know, then it was worth it. You know? There's that quote, like, it doesn't matter how many times you fail, succeeding is when it counts. You know? It wasn't about all the attempts that didn't work. Because when it locks in, it finally locks in. But I was just, I'm depressed. You know, I've been depressed, you know, for months. I've got used to it, you know, but I'm not as depressed as I've been in the past, though, which is good, but I just wish I had no depression at all, you know. I just wish everything was better. Well, I'm kind of harping, but it's like some people you see, and you can tell they genuinely are happy. You know, sometimes you look at a couple or something. Because I really enjoy love. You know, you can just tell they're genuinely happy. And, um, I want to be like them. You know, I don't know really what to do. You know, and, um, I get migraines a lot. And every time I'm in pain, I'm like, there's really no purpose to pain. You know? I've heard people say they like pain. But I don't think you can actually like it. Because I don't think you can actually like evil. And I believe there's some that never have to take headache medication. Like, they don't get headaches. <clears throat> like, some breathe better than me. They legitimately breathe better. You know, and I'm a smoker. You know what I mean? But I don't think smoking always deteriorates your health. You're not gonna believe this. I have a confession. You're an emotional chaos sinkhole. I'm sick of it. There we go. Strap. It's gotta get better. That's kinda cool. Roll around. Look at another town. Hopefully I'm not down. Hopefully I'm not down. I, I, I hop in puddles. Sometimes I kind of struggle. But overall, hopefully I'm getting better. I'm just hoping for good weather. There's so many things I'd love to change. If I could change right now, would be the whole thing. I don't really know, though. All my goals are growing up. Just to grow some weed Still have not, 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 not fulfilled that destiny And I ain't saying weed fixes everything But I love good trees That's like Juice World. Juice World allowed you to kill yourself Or, not intentionally They said he had a seizure And they found really high amounts of um, pain pills in his system And I think I think he got scared of going to prison or something. And they were they were searching him when it happened. And I think he ate all those pills, but I don't know for sure. I remember when I heard about that when it first happened. I was like, wow, we just lost Juice World. Well, you can kind of see how I'm coming with Juice World a little bit. 
I'm not saying, you know, I knew it was going to happen, but, you know, his, his raps are kind of depressing, like, so are mine. I just don't want to give up. Like, to be like him, look how happy he is. You know? And always be smiling, right, if that's possible. I don't know. I was talking to a camera. Seems to be my friend right now. <sighs> I just wish. For so much. You know, and I don't get it sometimes. You know, people scam me and I'm tired of getting scammed. I want someone I can love and not have to worry about it. Someone that has the same ideas as me. You know, because I never dreamed I would be single this long. I've been single since about 20. That's 11 years. And I never dreamed I'd be single this long. I was like, I I remember my first real hard breakup. And even though it hurt, I was like, I know I'll find me somebody else. But I don't feel that way anymore. You know, I don't know if I'm going to find someone in this life. But I used to always know it. Yeah, I knew it. And then I got a new girlfriend. Just sticks online. It's half bacon cheese sticks, half but, pizza. Set- we skipped the sad. Oh, well, let me pizza. skip. Having health insurance is important. So if anyone skip. in your family has Medicaid or CHIP, listen up. Check the mail for your renewal form. Huh. Complete the form. But, uh, I always wonder what happens to skip content, you know? And Just keep playing in the background. So you don't lose <laughs> You say no because the recording stops, right? But that's what gets me about recordings, too. It's like, yeah, in the recordings, we do the same thing. But I have seen recordings. I know I've said this many times in recordings. They go entirely different. I mean, they say different things. They do different things. But there's still enough similarity in it. You're like, I, I might have remembered. It's like the Mandela effect. I've had recordings talk directly to me. And I don't mean live where they're talking on chat and they say something. I mean a recording that is in the past. Look right at me. Because when I did Salvia, I was watching The Simpsons. And a buddy had given it to me. He said, I got something you, you probably know what to do with. I have no fucking idea what it is. It's called Salvia. I was like, I've heard of that. I've been really wanting to try that. And he's like, okay, when you smoke it, make sure you hold it in as long as you can. So I like instinctively knew to load the bowl, smoke the whole bowl, pack another bowl, smoke that bowl. And then I exhaled. And I shit you not, Bart Simpson looked right at me, went 3D, and said, what did you just do? I said, I just did salvia, and he started hysterically laughing. And then my vision started rapidly shaking. And everything went pitch black. And then I was, I saw this girl, and her, her pupils were so big, it was like that's all she had was pupils. And she said, wow, you're not supposed to be here yet. And I was like, where? She's like, welcome to salvia world, or something like that, or salvia land, or something. And uh, she goes, I know exactly what to turn you into. Because it's common with salvia for some reason that you'll hallucinate you're an object, whether it be in the room or whatever it is. And she turned me into a tree. And it was amazing. Then she turned me into one single blade of grass. And I felt so powerful as a tree. I was big and massive. And then I was this itty bitty piece of grass and I felt just as important. It was one of the best experiences of my existence. It really was. And salvia is not for everybody because there's, you know, psychedelics, you know, there's a chance you're going to have a bad experience. That's like with any drug, though. But really anything. But I believe some always have good experiences. And I really want to try ayahuasca, but it's illegal in my country. But over in, like, Peru, you can go on these retreats and you do ayahuasca twice. Then you do San Pedro, I think. What's the old DMT? Which I got to try DMT pretty recently, about, let's say about three years ago. And that was just a phenomenal experience. 
I thought weed was good. No, we're not. Weed is really good, but oh, it felt good. It felt really good. It really, it was a good experience all in all. Like, except for the nausea, I tried it two times that day, and when the trip ended, I was extremely nauseous. That was the only complaint I had. But I got to see different dimensions and stuff. It was like, it was like the Matrix where they got all the TVs. But I could see shit I'd never seen before. Like, I can't, I can't even begin to put it in words, but I seen things in ways I could comprehend at the moment. But as soon as the trip was done, it was like, I couldn't comprehend any of it. But it was really cool. I've, I've had those psychedelics though. They'll really open me like wide open. I don't know where he's off. I can't understand any of what happened. But I know overall it was good. Mm -hmm. And I'm not suggesting you do drugs, but kind of I am. I'm a druggie. I, you know, I'm a drug addict, you know, when it comes to it. Because, you know, I'll do stuff sometimes I'm not supposed to do to get drugs. But I don't think drugs are just evil. But growing up, I did. I really believed in the D.A.R.E. program. I really thought drugs were just bad for you. Until I started doing them. I remember I first smoked pot and I was like, this isn't bad. You know, I feel better. I feel collars look cooler. I, I mean, sounds are nicer, you know, just the little things. But I'm just rambling. I really want to post this to YouTube, but I don't know if I'm going to. Because <clears throat> it's, it's running long. Maybe someone wants to see my experience this long. Who knows? And I know there was this rapper, and she went on about... She likes short highs, not long highs. She's like, uh, she said she'd never do LSD. That just blows my mind to think someone will never do LSD. <laughs> it is beautiful of an experience. And Molly, and it just sucks in my country. They're illegal, you know, because they think they have no medical. But I've been there. I, I mean, I I can't say you know that I agree with it because I don't anymore. But and then we got caffeine, and I, I, I try to think, and I don't know anywhere in the world where coffee or tea are banned. You know what I mean? And who knows? They could, that could be the next thing that they ban. You know, they keep banning stuff. There's new drugs popping out constantly. They keep banning them. And I think if we would just legalize everything, kind of like Holland tries to, you know, like I think we're better off. I think you give proper information about how to safely use them and make them legal and make it where you can buy them. You know? I have to go to a doctor and get a prescription. I think there's a flaw in that a little bit. You can't obtain what you need to. You know? But sometimes when we can't obtain what we think we need, it's not something we actually need, you know? Which I've been sober now for over a year when it comes to, like, hard drugs. And I don't know if I'm any better or any worse. Because, like, I still have cravings, but I don't know if I'm better off or not. Like, would I be happy or high, you know? And if I would be, why am I keeping myself in depression for the sake of somebody else's opinion? You know, but I don't want to go to prison. That's what deters me the most. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. So I guess I just go without, you know, because I think eventually, like I said, everything's going to legalize because this dude made a really good point. He said, not everybody that takes a drink becomes a drunk. And I like that point. Because not everybody that touches drugs gets addicted. And there's something I'll never, never suffer from addiction. You know? I think I have statistics and such say, you know, this amount have addiction and whatever, but I don't think it's an accurate statistic. 
I think some statistics are accurate, but I think some are just not accurate. You know? That's Harley Quinn. She's sleeping, I think. But I don't know what to do. Like, if you got any suggestions, help me out. Because I don't know what to do. And I want to go back to school. I want to make my own video games and music. And, you know, actually people do it where I can make money off it. Because that'd be nice. Be able to make money off music or whatever it be. And things plundering if you watch this. He's uh that's the name of his RuneScape name. He was really nice. He gave me a bond. And he's been really nice to me. I told him what happened with my brother. He's been really, really nice to me. And I'm very appreciative of you, man, if you hear this. Because I you have helped me in ways that are just thanks, dude. You know, and I'm wondering, like, who's next? See, you know what I mean? I know it sounds fucked up, but who's next? Who else is going to do it? Well, I don't think you should, like, but I think I'm going to take a shower. So I think I'm going to cut this log, but... Whatever keeps you going, keep on keeping on as best I can say. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one.